Hey, no drops today, unfortunately. My farming strat turned out to be pretty um, trash, so I've swapped it. I'll show you what that is later. But in bigger news, I've almost fully switched to self poison, although it's really janky because I'm still using the old shit hacks. Um, I just did it by using heaps of jewels. So heaps of like uh, jewels with chance to poison on hit and life on them. So I've got like 35% chance to poison. Isn't great. But um, works. So yeah, the tree's very different. But yeah, still got 5k life. It's very inefficient too at the moment, my tree. Um, like these little nodes it probably shouldn't take. Yeah, those ones. But um, it's just for the meantime, because I'm still leveling, still getting gear. Like this is not how I'm going to end up with my class of jewels. I'm going to get like Watcher's Eye, a um, couple of Flesh and Flames. Um, and um, craft, obviously craft my axe eventually. The thing is I can't really... Um, craft my axe yet because I need my rings to be crafted um, so I just um, in a middle state at the moment I'm happy with their suffix well I'm gonna re reforge this into chaos uh, for the suffixes and then I'm just gonna craft the prefixes on uh, which which is pretty deterministic except you can mess up the ashling if it doesn't give you life that's about the only bad thing about it but I'll um, show you that when I do it. So I need to craft the um, uh, minus mana to non-channeling skills craft on the rings. I'll show you uh, on both of them just to take down my um, mana cost to so hopefully near zero or zero. So this one here, yeah, Aurion craft. So I need to craft those on both my rings. And um, yeah, obviously, and then I can finally craft the axe, which is what I've been looking forward to this whole time. And go from there. Um, after I get some chaos on this, hopefully I get hit T1, and then I'll um, get rid of the flask and put something a bit more useful in. Uh, but yeah, I've switched to South Poison. Um, so I can show you how um, show you a map actually. Getting ready to go. So I um actually watched um I don't know if you've seen it, but a guy called Grimro. I watched uh, his video. Um. And he um, was talking about farming strats, and he had a harbinger one. And so I obviously went directly to that because when I was farming farming harbingers, I just couldn't make any money. <laughs> I was basically just farming and staying exactly where I was, you know. And that's not—I mean, that's not including the fracturing shard drop, but um, you know, that was like one off, and then the rest was just like desert. And the reason I think it is, is because obviously a lot of people, and they, they have for a long time, a lot of people have used Harbingers as like a sort of alternate option for um, for farming, right? So they'll do their main strat and have Harbingers just on the side, like have some Harbinger Scarabs or whatever. But that drives up the prices of the Harbinger Scarabs. And before we had Sextants, which people wouldn't use because they'd be using their main strat Sextants. So at least like you can make you could have some cheaper sextants when you run your harbinger strat and therefore you can make a little bit more money but now because obviously everyone just well not everyone but a lot of people are putting in harbingers with their strats um, just driving up the prices of the scarabs and people well just like just me probably who only does harbingers <laughs> just get get wrecked really so i've um I, i've done his similar atlas tree to him uh, but I just um, there you go if you want to have a look at it but I've just uh, put in these nodes as well so these are pretty cool it goes um, it just means you can't select 
your uh, like whatever bonus you want on whichever pack it just has a random one but it gives you an extra bonus one possibly so it's actually pretty cool because you can just Al, Al can go with your maps you don't have to like click anything on the screen um, so that's a bit of nostalgia for back in the day when you didn't have a menu after your map but this is it so it's got a hundred percent chance for delirium hundred percent chance for um beyond monsters uh, and then just a lot of scarabs uh, stuff and some uh, modifier stuff and yeah a lot of things blocked to block those scarabs and to drive up the to drive up the chance that other content will come in anyway uh Oh, looks like I'm sustaining now, which is good. Cool. All right, so this is actually pretty juicy, like, um, for these maps. So Grimro was recommending you have a headhunter if you're doing it. Um, but because this is self poison, this build um, is fine. Ah, also I've got Sin Victor on my offhand, as you see here, so it can give me Rampage if I want it. Um, yeah. I'll show you, so what I do is I weapon swap at the start, and then I hit a worm, and then it gives me Rampage basically. It also gives me my cell poison, and you always want to be cell poisoning, because otherwise you can run into a can't leech pack, and then you'll kill yourself with your cell poison, because you're only healing if you're leeching and so if you're not leeching, not leeching and you take 20,000 damage a second you'll instantly die um, but yeah so this is how I start the map weapon swap throw my worms hit them and put on my blood rage under this I probably hit my worms too early actually just hit them again swap back off we go So you see you're just amongst it and you see like life doesn't really move much you know even though th this is taking a lot of damage like this is so you just like chill out <laughs> chill out hit things and then just pick up loot really you know as long as you you keep an eye on your stacks as long as you've got like at least one really then you're, you're good if you don't have one you can just click on your writhing flask and make sure you're not near your totems um, you can just be holding down your, your attack and click your writhing flask and you'll hit it in mid-air and kill it and get the poison off it. Um, each time, each poison on you uh, increases your chaos res by one as well. As well as um, healing you for an insane amount. So it's somewhere between 20 and 40,000 per second per poison. At the start, anyway. Probably more for me because I'm like negative chaos res. Re <laughs> Super healed. Yeah, you really need one though. Obviously, it's better to have more since, since it ups your chaos res. But yeah, it's pretty chill. I really missed this build actually. I forgot how strong it was. This our poison. Even though this is like a real, real um, scuffed version of it. Not even close to being. No, kind of. Well, yeah, not even close to being like. See, yeah, kind of close actually. Just need to fix my rings, get an axe, uh, watch his eye, flesh and flames, and um, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. You can actually often stand on these because they get, do damage in slightly like not exactly the same time so that means you instantly heal your life between each 
but then sometimes it does damage at the same time you die. So it's not really worth it. I mean, now I've flicked to, now I've switched to South Poison, I expect I'll um, level up quickly. Because obviously a lot tankier. Scarabs don't do much, right? Yeah, I'm still leveling up gems. I put Impale on, I probably should put Vile Toxin, but I really like Impale. I'm probably going to end up accidentally getting Impale on my axe too when I try and craft it. Let's see the poison. Let's see how we... Oh, by the way, um, you can get now that you can select your uh, item out of the necropolis just make 30 percent axes that way rather than using per perfect fossils just um do the six five percent uh, quality and make a 30 percent desperate axe that's what i just did for my base Oop. crash quite a bit i don't know if it's just me or everyone Actually, while I'm here, I can show you something else as well. So now how everyone was worried about Reflect? Well, it turns out you can unveil Reflect on flasks now. So that means, I think it's 70%. So I unveiled it on this one, so it's like, oh, it's up to 80%. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's on the unveil there, right? What about what when you craft it? Okay. 55 to 45. Okay, so you can get 55. And then in the Pantheon, that's actually, i got to do my Pantheons. Wait, what the fuck am I? This one, you know? So you can actually reflect, reflect immune with your flask, or was it 55? Is that, because you can get, was it 90, 95? So that's barely enough for you to be reflected immune. You get 25% increased effect on your flask and then roll the 70% increased effect uh, on the top enchant. That's just barely enough to be a reflect immune off one flask if you have a mage blood. Interesting. So there. You can be reflect immune with one flask now. Or with your flask going and um, that pantheon. Yeah, I'll just quickly finish this map. So you can see it, it's pretty juicy. Like a lot of scarabs drop. A lot of stuff trying to kill me. So for the scarabs, I was using uh, two harbingers split up. So it gives you six harbingers because there's a limit of four for the harbinger scarabs. And then the discerning. Harbinger Scarab and the Regency Harbinger Scarab. So just 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 two rusteds, one polished and one gilded. In, uh, last month's tombs. You can see you don't really take damage with the cell poison, it's great. I <laughs> got a hundred. Nice.
Somebody says it. Alright. Um, that's the map anyway. That's what the strat looks like. Oh, one more harbinger. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be pretty strong, like reasonably strong build to to do this much stuff. Otherwise, the harbinger crosses just really do a lot of damage. Oh, nice! Now I get the chaos shrine. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Whatever. So yeah, this is all my loot from the map, right? It's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen scarabs, you know. Oh, seventeen. <laughs> yeah. Right, but um, let's do shaper. Let's see how we go. The ceiling one is it? Gotta love boss phases. really found a lot of um like movement bugs really found a lot of movement bugs in the game ever since um the new patch like it feels like you're floating in the air Why? Oh, I'm tiny. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? Why was I tiny? I've never been that tiny before. But what is happening? Really? go? Okay. Is that him? Why is everything tiny? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Okay. Right. 
kill this dude and then we kill Shaper. Bloody totems took them. See, you can just stand on this beam. No worries. Probably shouldn't. Nah, doesn't really matter. Just stand on anyway. Yeah, it's pretty chill. Pretty strong build, you know. Probably shouldn't break the arena, but it doesn't really matter either. Yeah, I didn't really mean to respec into poison this fast. It just kind of happened. That was actually because I was just messing around trying to craft some jewels. Oh no, I crashed again. I was messing around. Oh, that means I have to go back and kill that. I was messing around crafting some jewels. <laughs> I accidentally crafted the wrong. The wrong style. Well, I crafted it because it, it had nine. So I thought. You used to nine slots used to be the same as eight pretty much. You could just ignore the one extra, but now they've made it so nah they're not. So that was a waste of time. But my other two are alright. I'm just gonna have to upgrade my jewels again at some point. It's pretty cheap to craft them if you use alts. How much where do I go? Yeah. Feel so slow. I think it's my boots. You know, fix my boots. It would suck if I got there and just died to him. Oh no! <laughs> you hit me before I could poison him. That's my fault for using a waste blast of him. Nothing. If I was smart, I would have um, used my writhing flask, but I think I'd used all my flask charges up. Also, it's because I got such low poison chance as well. You know? So it's not always guaranteed to poison myself, even if you get like three hits in a row. When I up my poison chance, it will happen. Crap anyway, it's... <laughs> I like that, I just don't have to care about anything, you know? Obviously, except uh, 
getting owned between the um, phases. I hate it when I accidentally put the puddles in. Oh shit. Oh no, I'm so. I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad at this game. Why do I make things hard for myself? All I have to do is stand in a thing and then hit my worms. I should just come in with a whole bunch of worms. Wait, I just lagged a lot. I should just come in with a whole bunch of worms, like I'm there. And um, then I won't have to care about anything. It's always just about having the poison on me. Basically, if I got the poison on me, it's nothing you can do to me. So I can tank a slam if I've, if I've got the poison on. I can tank his beam. I gotta watch out putting my totems down there because I can like kill my worms instead of me. Is he gonna stop talking or what? I got poison. Yes. I'm immortal! Okay. Man, why did I have to make that so hard? Oh no, I've got no. I'm gonna die again, aren't I? Sweet. Made that look a lot harder than it had to be, but there you go. See, if you're average at the game, you don't die. <laughs> but I like to see if I can tank everything, you know. I just like to put my face in front, see if it gets hit or not. <laughs> but yeah, you can see how strong this build is. Um, and that's when it's still like really crap with this fucking trash axe. <laughs> And um, half my gear not crafted yet, but yeah. Oh well. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, if you want to, uh, if you want me to do a guide, let me know. Chuck it in the comments. And um, I think I got one guy commenting that he wants to to see a guide. But I mean, I'm not the best guide writer, so I mean, I can if people want to see it. Let me know. Anyway, <laughs> have a good one, guys. I hope you get way better drops than I did today. I'll catch you later.